Good morning. It's Thursday, January 19th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Happy New Year, and our scripture is Psalm 51. Restore the joy of your salvation to me, and provide me with a spirit of willing obedience. After King David's unforgettable departure from living as the man after God's own heart, he was miserable. Life was falling apart, and there was no sense to living, let alone any joy. His prayer in Psalm 51 was desperation. That's something easily seen in our day. People try to find some semblance of happiness, or at least a little relief from bad news. That they need that relief is something you see every New Year's Eve in Times Square with a hundred thousand partiers in fully intoxicated party mode. Twenty years ago, Elizabeth and I rang in the New Year somewhat differently. We had the flu. Our swizzle sticks were immersed in chicken soup. When the ball finally dropped at midnight, I awoke because of the noise on TV. I nudged Elizabeth, kissed her Happy New Year, and she grunted, yeah, whatever, and we both went back to snoring in a NyQuil stupor. It wasn't all gruesome, though. Earlier that night, Elizabeth had decided to bathe the dogs. We were grand dog sitting at Carrie and Shannon's house. When Elizabeth decides to bathe the dogs, they have no choice. One by one, they were herded into the hall bathroom. Being the sickest, I shouted encouragement from the living room while I watched the ball game. When Elizabeth got to the puppy, quote-unquote, whose name was Cole, he was 85 pounds and had buffalo-sized paws, things kind of got out of hand. Cole decided to exercise his I want out of here option. He tried to bite the water, the soap, the scrubby thing, the shower curtain. He understood that nipping Elizabeth was totally out of the question, so he just struggled to end the torture as best as he could. The sounds were amazing. I expected to hear, no Cole, stop Cole, Cole cut that out. What I heard was high-pitched laughter, no words, just Elizabeth's reaction to Cole's struggle. She was having a grand time with Cole giving Elizabeth a really good bath. Elizabeth later explained to me that Cole had grabbed the soap bottle and flung it across the bathroom. As she reached to retrieve it, the pooch got himself half out of the tub, but his back legs were still inside and swimming, and he was leaving a wake like the Titanic. With water and suds flying everywhere, my bride was attempting to re-tub the front half of the dog while the back end was objecting. It was an epic struggle. A few moments after the clatter began, Cole and Elizabeth emerged from the bathroom in tandem. She had the hound by the tail with one hand and a buzzing hairdryer in the other. Cole was getting down the hallway as fast as his legs could scramble, considering he was dragging Elizabeth behind. I don't know whether it was the hairdryer or Elizabeth's laughter that scared him the most. Elizabeth rather enjoyed the ride. It's an incredible thing, this joy that won't be stopped, especially when it's connected to a Rottweiler bloodhound mix puppy who won't be stopped either. I like joy. I like the genuine kind that starts deep down within and bubbles up to the surface. It's irrepressible, unstoppable, and it is what Jesus died to bring to our souls. Joy, unspeakable and full of glory. For you today, if you're experiencing an absence of joy in your life, that deep down contentment with living, there's something to be said for a spiritual checkup. Joy is one of the characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit. So take time to read Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 25 in particular, and ask God to drench your life in His goodness. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.